For thousands of years, the ancients believed that the caves were the gateway to the underworld, what connected the afterlife and the current world. And today, we're in a cave that has too many stories to tell. So today guys, we are on the Mori Firth. Hoy, and I am in a place. It's got an exceptional history. One that's, that's kind of got me puzzled, like most things, right? So this here is the Sculptor's Cave. Hoy, has some view. And along with its view, it has a story to tell. <laughs> so, where do we start? Excavations began in the Sculptor's Cave in the 1920s and they were fast to start finding human bones. Hundreds of bones, in fact. Amongst these bones, archaeologists were, were surprised to find the remains of 3,000-year-old mummified bodies. These mummified bodies were the bodies of little children. There are claims that the bones had all been tampered with, with cut marks and slices on them. There are even claims that the children had been left out on display at the entrance of the cave, for which reason no one knows. And there are even claims that the archaeologists found vertebrae that had been completely sliced, which could suggest that some of these children and bodies had been decapitated. The bones from the first dig just so happened to be lost, sent to the university and disappeared. So we'll never really know if there's truth behind some of these stories or if they are just myth. But one thing's for sure is that the ancient people regarded this cave as a very significant place. I don't know, was this where they believed that a dead body could connect to the gods, to the underworld. We don't know. We don't really know what these people exactly believe. We, we can just kind of speculate. But it doesn't have a, a bad feeling here. Is it because they've, they've already done extensive work and they've dug it all up and the bones are gone? I don't feel negative energies. Some places I've been, you can tend to feel a wee bit freaked out. But here, it's actually quite magic. I came here because there's someone else I want to show you. The beautiful artwork, probably by Historic Scotland. <laughs> annoy someone. I know that will annoy someone. You think if you, you know, you call something Sculptor's Cave, you'd see some sculptures, no a bunch of dead bodies in that. Do you know what I mean? We call it like Death Cave, Cave of Death, which we got one of them too. We'll go there another day. But the Sculptor's Cave got its name because of the Pictish warriors, man. Because of the Picts themselves. Because, oh, you can't even see it from here. Look, we have a V-Rod. That's what they call that. I can't even call it the name some of these Pictish art are called. It's like, whoa, mirror. Oh, we call it a mirror. So, this, they, they date this about 1500 years, guys, roughly. You have the V-Rod and the fish. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful specimen. Oh my goodness. And all the wee wanks who decide to come and write their name make it really, really difficult to really work out what else is going on. I did find some other Pictish stuff 
This is a cross, I think this is much more modern. Okay, I turned you into night mode. Infrared. This here is like the main area of the cave. This is the east entrance and the west entrance. Strangely, there are actually no carvings found in the chamber of the cave, but all the Pictish art is actually found in the passageways, or the hallways. Now, here's another one I found. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. Rectangle with a rectangle inside it, with a mushroom right here. 1500 years ago, I don't know the mushroom's part of it, I don't think it is, but I like the mushroom. So apparently there are seven groups of Pictish art in this cave. Um, I can only find two of them at the moment, as it's my first time being here. I, uh, I don't get a bad feeling being here, you know? Like, you think with all this, this history that's involved with this cave, you would think that you would get some kind of negative energies, but you really don't. It's actually quite a beautiful place. The Pictish art, it's something that I am, um, I'm super curious in. I, I, I've been, I've spent quite a few years looking for different Pictish sites and I truly believe that the meanings to these carvings are not at all understood in the modern world. I think that we are looking at them from a point of view of the modern world, whereas these people were in a completely different planet from us, from what our beliefs are. So yeah, unfortunately, I gotta go because actually this wee bay is a complete wee death trap. Um, the tide comes all the way up and apparently you're totally trapped here if you don't get off in time. So I have to go because it's moved in a lot just since I've been here. Um, yeah, because I'm faffing around like I always do. So I hope you enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed today's wee video. Um, if you did, Get, hit subscribe and give me a wee thumbs up. My friend of mine actually made the music for this video, so I would super appreciate it if you go below and go subscribe to his channel. Give him a, a, wee, a wee bit of support, because, you know, like, struggling artists and all, that's what we're all doing, apparently. Aye, and for now, guys, I will say goodbye to the Sculptor's Cave. And any of you who are going to come back in the future with me, going to see it again because I'm going to come camping here. Guys, I'm starting to get a wee bit freaked out. This tide's coming in so fast. In fact, so fast, I walked over that way before, and now the water's filling up pretty quick. Bloody hell. Bloody hell, this is, this is not smart, eh? Woo, this is not smart. I am looking for, yay, I'm looking for some, some wee deadly steps. Yay, we made it to the deadly steps. I will have to put the camera away. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. And yeah, till the next time. Cheerio the new.